Hello guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys um, some of the new retextured capital ships. And uh, I'm, I just found out that it's available on CC. And so here I am. So I'm just going to go straight at it. Let's start with the freighters first before we go to the more interesting stuff. So here we go. The Providence. I'm going to be putting a comparison uh, video with the current, <coughs> current ships right down here. Just make sure you watch it in a full HD and uh, hopefully you can see the difference. So, I don't really remember how the province looks like uh, currently, but I think this is kind of new. This two-toned um, outline thingy, and the color is a bit darker. Overall, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the Providence. Let's move on. Charon. Ooh. It's gone black. And very, very shiny. There you go. The new Charon. How, how do you pronounce this thing? Ch Ch Charon? Charon? <laughs> Got a little logo there. Pretty nice. <coughs> okay, moving on. The obelisk is what I'm flying right now. Ooh. Pretty much looks the same, only with more details. There you have it the obelisk I heard they made uh, some really cool changes with the uh, jump freighters in terms of colors really uh, different so we'll have to see this one looks pretty much uh, the same it's Fenrir for you And now we can go to the jump freighters. Hopefully we see... Oh yes, from the screenshot looks... Oh yes! Wow! No, this is... This is gorgeous. You know, the old arc with uh, the bright... I don't know, bright dark red uh, as the outline was pretty ugly <laughs> to me compared to the, or the normal Providence and now it seems they've uh, <coughs> you know made an opposite of the current arc color scheme with gold in the middle and uh, kind of red on the outside which is really really nice because uh, yeah, it looks really, really cool. It, it works. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Let's move on to the Rhea. Huh. Got some fancy lines here. The color seems to be almost identical, if not identical, to the Sharon. have it. Daria. Daria. <laughs> Anchar. Yes, this is an... Oh! Oh, wow. Now this looks good. Kind of looks like a Black Ops ship. <laughs> With this color scheme. I like it. Because the current Anchar is uh, 
ugly as hell. I'm really glad they changed the color of this one. Because it really, really fits it. Not very galentish, but yeah, looks really good. And the last one is the Nomad. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fluent Camels is. Okay. Um. Uh. I don't know. I kind of like the 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 current uh, nomad, but I don't know. Maybe this floats your boat. It's different. But I don't know. It just doesn't work for me, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, now we're done with that. I'm just gonna do this uh, fairly quickly because uh, I don't want it to be like a 20 minute video. So let's start with the carrier. Next, the Archon. Oh, nice. They changed the uh, middle part. Added some color there so it doesn't look like a, an unfinished ship. See the drone base uh, here for the fighters and stuff. colors uh, a bit more a bit darker which is uh, really nice it's good and then let's move on to the chimera okay so I guess they're gonna be going with this color scheme going black mostly instead of the kind of silvery blue Koldari or maybe this is the the lighting of this um, I don't know the background that's uh, affecting the color of the ship but from the looks of it it's, it's gone pretty blackish and I kind of like it a bit shiny though but I like it this looks good. Pretty imposing. Okay. Next we have the Thanatos. Not much difference here. In terms of color, only a little bit darker with more detail. Uh, I don't really like the Thanatos just because uh, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that. I think I saw some lighting. Oh yeah, right over there. Okay. Last one is the Nidhogger. Nidhogger. Oh no. Oh, it's a bit too shiny. I like this part though. But this one... I don't know. <sighs> well, it looks good. Just a bit too shiny for my taste. That's that. Now let's go to the big guys. Ah, oh, now we're talking. Oh my god. I love, I love this ship. It's probably one of the best looking ships in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and it seems to have gotten better with the new textures and the shaders. Wow. This looks badass. Good job. Good job, CCP. <coughs> now we have the next. Ah, okay. Now this one is pretty cool.
Lots of detail. And the lights. Okay, next one we have as uh, a wyvern. Not so black. This is the traditional Kaldari gray. Maybe a bit darker. I don't remember. Well, you'll know when I put the comparison video here. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go, the wyvern. Pretty big. This is pretty cool. I haven't really looked closely into this these <laughs> capital ships because I can't really fly them. Oh wow, it looks cool. So there you have it, the wyvern. Now the last one, the Aeon. I don't really like uh, the design of Amar Cap <coughs> Amar carriers so much. So yeah, because it looks like a, an unfinished, <laughs> unfinished ship. So if that's your thing, then yeah. <coughs> yeah too bad they're one of the best probably the best uh, capitals in the game because uh, I don't really like it <laughs> design wise uh, alright so that's that uh, I don't think they did anything to the Revenant yeah maybe they have I don't know probably not yep And uh, that's, those are the carriers, and now we can move on to the Dreadnoughts. Now let's start with, uh, what I'm up? No, let's just start with the Revelation first. Revelation, big ass ship. Lots of detail here. the new gold color works so there you have it the revelation moving on phoenix the ugliest one okay still ugly <laughs> uh, oh my god who designed this piece of crap seriously uh. This is this is so ugly. What is it? <laughs> uh, okay, that's uh, the Phoenix. Move on to the Mars, one of my favorites. Yeah. Nice. Oh wow, this is pretty cool, this is a nice touch. <laughs> awesome, I like this one. And lastly we have the vertical dreadnought. So it seems like uh, Minimator ships are going to be shiny from now on, from the looks of it. Very shiny. Not much going on with uh, the lights. 
pretty much just headlights and uh, yeah still looks pretty cool though because it's so massive okay <clears throat> now we're done with that let's move on to the big boys now let's start with bottom uh, up we have here is a uh, Ragnarok yeah look at that look at all the detail sorry for the <laughs> for spazzing out there I just sneezed <laughs> okay this looks good the texture not my kind of ship though in terms of design because it looks like some random I don't know what this is it's like a stick or something but that's that now moving on to the next one, the Leviathan. Okay. Oh. Some moving stuff there. Wes. A bit more detail. Okay, maybe not a little, but a bit more detail. Nice. And then let's move on to the Erebus. I like the Erebus. Oh wow, he has uh, some spinny stuff going on here and these lights, I love it. I wish they put, I don't know, this kind of lights on every Galinti ship. <laughs> Galinti ship. That would be cool. the blinkies here. Look at the detail. Wow. It's really nice. Airbus. Yep, I hope I can fly. I hope I'll be able to fly one of these someday. Just for the heck of it. <coughs> and lastly, the Avatar. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, looking at this, I can see that the new color scheme they're, they're going with Amar really, really works because uh, this looks pretty mean. Still a mushroom though, but mean nonetheless. I mean, look at the color. It's pretty aggressive. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, that about covers it, and uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, if there are any other new things uh, that's going to be implemented in the game, uh, I'll be posting it up whenever I have the chance to, okay? Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>